Today, I have some exciting news for anyone that wants to run Linux on their Apple Silicon computers. And that news is that Asahi Linux may well have OpenGL 2.1 support by the end of the year. That means that you'll be able to get desktop acceleration and probably play some older games on your Apple Silicon Macs running Linux. So let's talk more about that in today's video. So, before we start today's video, I do just have to warn you that I'm not a driver developer or anything, so anything that I report here is likely to be a very layman's understanding of what's actually going on. That said though, I'll try my best to convey the news because I think that this is really cool. Essentially, one of the Asahi Linux developers, Alyssa Rosenweg, has managed to get a game called Neverball, running using open source Asahi Mesa drivers. Now granted this was accomplished under macOS with the standard proprietary macOS kernel drivers, but the hope is that once the GPU kernel drivers for Asahi Linux are finished, the work that went into getting Neverball working should also be usable under Linux. So really that leaves us with the question of how long it'll be before we have GPU drivers in Asahi Linux. Well, Alyssa seems optimistic that we should have GPU drivers complete with the demoed OpenGL 2.1 support by the end of the year, which actually somehow isn't that far away. And that is extremely exciting to me. Despite how exciting this news is, it is important that you temper your expectations somewhat. Even with hardware documentation, support for Vulkan and modern versions of OpenGL can take years of full-time work to develop in a driver. And at present, there isn't any hardware documentation from Apple, nor anyone working on these open source drivers full-time. So it's going to be a very, very long time until these drivers have support for OpenGL 4.6 or Vulkan. Most likely years. Even with that said though, I'm still extremely excited for these drivers, as they're all that I need to daily drive Asahi Linux, even without support for newer versions of OpenGL or Vulkan. But with that said though, that's it for today's video. What do you think? Will you be making use of these drivers? Let me know in the comment section below. I thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.